Hello and welcome back to the AndroidAppTraining.com online course. We're going to take the next step in our app here called Android Zoo. And we already have our buttons inserted with our images. We've got a kitty, a lion, and a tiger. And we have our table arrangement set up with three columns and two rows. One row for our images and one row for our labels. And our next step is actually to add those labels. So I'm going to grab a label from the basic palette put one under the kitty here. I'll put one under the lion and I'll put one under the tiger. Now in order to change the text on these labels you want to highlight that label and go over here and change the text in this text box. We'll call this one kitty and we're actually going to change our text alignment here from left. You can see that it's on the left side here. We want to center that so it looks nice. And we'll see now that Kitty is right under the middle of this image. And we're going to go ahead and do the same thing for our lion. Change the text alignment to center. And for our tiger. And again, change the text alignment to center. Now if you want to, you can certainly change the size of this font so that these labels actually show up a little bit bigger. And... Why don't we just go ahead and do that? We'll make that 18. We'll make this one 18. And we'll make our kitty 18 as well. Now, normally I would relabel these labels right here kitty label, lion label, and tiger label. But you'll find out when we get to the blocks editor that our labels are just that. They're just labels, they don't really have any functionality in this app. So whether I rename these labels or not is really of no consequence. So I'm just going to leave them be. And on our next video, I'll show you how to add the sound components.